Hello world, it's February 1st. It's the month of Valentine's Day, Black History Month. We're gonna hear a lot about love, family, forgiveness, kindness, because it's Valentine's Day. But this concept I'm gonna talk about is one I thought about the other night, it's mercy. Mercy is very similar to love. Mercy is something we all want. Mercy is something God showed us and gave us. So anytime we're talking about life, we're talking about God. We can't separate God from reality. There's no way to do that. So we'll talk about mercy. This lesson was taught to me years ago by my teacher. And it was a great explanation of the word mercy and its function and its purpose. Mercy is similar to love, but it's also different. There's this one key difference. And this one key difference is what separates mercy, love, goodness, kindness, and the other positive affection we give each other. Mercy is also something we're going to need for Valentine's Day based upon your situation, your family, or whatever else you've been through. Love and mercy can't be separated, but it's also not the same. Love is the, the idea we have, the emotion we have, and the decision we make. You choose to love people, people choose to love you. But love is always giving. It's not something you can take, it's not something you can earn. 99% of us don't even deserve it. But love is also giving, and when you give it, that's when you feel it. You feel the release. It's an action, it's a decision, then you feel the emotion. What makes love and mercy different is one simple definition, one simple function, and one simple action. Mercy is what you do when you up and someone else is down. That person is vulnerable, and you can hurt the person, but you choose to bow down and lift the person up. That is what mercy is. Mercy is the act of risking your own condition, which is better than the next person, but you bow down and lift them up. A perfect example of mercy is if you see someone bleeding, and you know that person has AIDS, but you still take this, your shirt off, and you bandage up that person's wound. You're risking your own positive condition to bow down and lift someone else up. How many people would do that? How many people would risk their good health to help someone in need who has poor health? I probably wouldn't. I hope I would. I say I would. But until it happens, I really don't know. Mercy is when you see someone in a car that's on fire and you run in to pull that person out. That's mercy. We use courageous and bravery, but without mercy, there could be no decision to show that you're courageous or brave. How many people would run into a car on fire to pull out someone else? You're risking your own life and your own health to help someone in need who cannot do anything for you. That's mercy. A vulnerable person and a good person in a good condition. You risk your good condition to help someone in need who can't do anything for you. That's mercy. Now just think, when's the last time you showed someone mercy? When's the last time you bowed down to pick up another person who couldn't do anything for you on time? Do you do that every day? Do you do it for your family members? Do men do it for their wives? Do wives do it for their husbands? Do parents do it for their children? How many times do you really bow down and risk something to help another person? If there's no risk, there is no mercy. If you're not giving up something, if you're not risking anything, it's not mercy. Now, the difference between mercy and love is that mercy and love, with love, you both could be on the same plane. You both can be equal. But with mercy, the other person is down. And you're bowing down to meet that person in need. Doctors show it when they treat sick patients. Lawyers do it when they operate pro bono, when the lawyer defends a person for free. They're risking their job, their career, to help someone who can't do anything for them. Some police officers do it. Firefighters do it. They run into houses they don't have to run into. They don't live there. But they run in to help somebody in need. Do you do it? When's the last time you show someone mercy? When's the last time you risked your life to help somebody who could do nothing for you. That's mercy. It's February 1st, Valentine's Day. Enjoy your family. Love somebody. Show mercy. And pray that God puts you in a situation to show whether or not there's mercy in your heart. If it's not, pray for it.